This is Halalan 2022. Both wisely Filipinas. You're watching Pinoy Culture and Her Story. Today, May 9, 2022, is election day in my beloved country. Polling precincts will open today at 6 a.m. Philippine time and will close at 7 p.m. Time check for today, 5.25 a.m. We're going to travel to Pilar to cast our vote. 2022 election is national election, meaning we have to choose from president, vice president, 12 senators, party list, only one party list. Otherwise, it will be void. And then members of the house, governor, vice governor, Members of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and members of the Sangguniang Panglungsod ng Bayan. Elections enable voters to select leaders and hold them accountable to their performance in their office. The possibility of controlling leaders by the people by requiring them to submit the regular and periodic election helps solve the problem of succession in leadership and thus contributes to the continuation of democracy. Hence, Section 1 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution states that sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. 2022 National Election is unique in a particular way. While we Filipinos are casting our votes for our and children's future, we are at the same time casting our votes for our collective past. Are we voting to confirm what has already been written as our history? Or are we voting to change and revise our history? The results are just a few hours away. Kaya samahan niyo po ako ngayong Halalan 2022. Importante pong kumuha ng voters information sheet upang malaman ang tamang paraan ng pagboto. Sama-sama po kaming pumunta sa aming polling present upang ma-enjoy ang right to suffrage. Dumating po kami sa Banoyo Elementary School Banoyo, Pilar Sorsogot at 6.55 a.m. Isa po itong barangay within the poblasyon. Kapansin-pansin po na safety protocols muna ang implemented, temperature check, alcohol, dahil ito po ang kauna-unahang halalan within pandemic period. Pagpasok pa lamang ng paaralan, Meron na pong mga listahan upang ma-check mo ang iyong designated present. Dahil po meron na kaming voters information sheet, so alam na namin na doon po kami sa present 3A. Tara, hanapin po natin kung saan ang classroom ng present 3A. Hindi po kami nahirapang hanapin ang aming designated classroom. Ayan ang aking yaya na hanap niya na ang aming classroom. Tada! Excited na kaming mag-vote. Tara! Samahan niyo po kami. Ayan po ang aking mommy dear para sa kanyang halalan 2022. Ito po ang mga listahan ng mga voters dito sa presinto namin. Bawal po ang kumuha ng video habang bumoboto. Kaya, syempre ang aking next video ay... Ayan! Tapos na po kaming mag-cast ng aming vote. Syempre, ikikwento ko na lang sa inyo habang kami ay pauwi kung ano ang nangyari. First, inassist ko muna ang aking mommy para makomplete niya ang kanyang balot. Pagkatapos, ang aking yaya naman. Meron kang dalawang sheet doon na ilalagay mo kung sino ang actual na voter at sino ang mag-a-assist. So, nag-signify po ako ng name ko doon upang ma-assist ko po si yaya 
at si Mami. Pag pinasok na po nila sa machine ang kanilang mga balots, titingnan ko po kung nagmamatch ang kanilang binoto doon sa parang receipt bago ko ihuhulog sa parang maliit na box. Originally, si Yaya nilagyan niya ng shade yung mismong number ng candidate. Buti na lang po, hindi naman po yun void. As long as yung bilog na portion ay mashadean mo ng buo. Ngunit, pag partially shaded po ang bilog, hindi po siya nakakount. So, kailangan buo po ang mashadean nyo. Mabilis lang po kaming lahat natapos. 7.27, pauwi na po kami. Ayan, bye-bye! Thank you for watching Pinoy Culture and Her Story. Until next episode, subscribe, like and share.